So vitamin D is one of the essential vitamins needed for human survival, and it regulates more than 1,000 bodily functions. Not to mention that vitamin D has a huge benefit for your testosterone levels. So in today's video, we're going to truly take a deeper look at this wonder vitamin and look at some sources that you can get it from. All the information in today's video plus much more can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. So vitamin D is much, much more than just a bone vitamin. Vitamin D increases testosterone levels and maintains optimal endocrine system health in both men and women. Vitamin D is actually not even a vitamin, which is really interesting. Uh, it is a hormone, a steroid hormone that's mistakenly named as a vitamin. So this hormone D uh, basically regulates more than 1,000 bodily functions, including fertility, growth hormone secretion, and sexual function in general. Needless to say that if your serum vitamin D levels are too low, more than 1,000 bodily functions are also somewhat impaired. Several of these functions that vitamin D regulates are linked to the endocrine system, and therefore not getting enough of uh, vitamin D in your diet or through sun exposure should in theory reduce your testosterone levels. Recent studies on vitamin D and testosterone levels have shown a certain number of interesting things. So this study right here found out that vitamin D and testosterone levels were correlated. Men with sufficient vitamin D levels had higher testosterone levels and lower SHBG levels than guys who were deficient. So in this study, they found out that when uh, healthy male participants take 3,000 IUs of vitamin D daily for a year, they end up having 25% more testosterone on average compared with the placebo group. This study right here found out that older men who supplement with vitamin D are less likely to have low testosterone than men who are not supplementing with it. So in this Australian study, researchers found out that in older men, low vitamin D status is associated with low free testosterone and increased fra fracture risk. Now in this study, they examined the already proven positive association between vitamin D and testosterone. They had 1,362 male subjects, and the results showed that vitamin D has a linear positive association with serum total and free testosterone levels. However, when the amount of vitamin D in serum goes above 80 nanomolar per liter, which is about the optimal range, the increase in testosterone kind of asymptotes, it plateaus out. Once you get your deficiencies corrected, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna literally be able to uh, indefinitely increase your T levels from it. It's actually better to get your vitamin D from sunlight exposure if possible, at least if you believe the results of this 1939 study from Abraham Meyerson, which showed that five days of UV light exposure to men's chest area increased total testosterone levels by 120%. When the genitals were exposed to UV radiation for some period of time, the increase in testosterone skyrocketed to 200%. There's also some evidence that bright light exposure signals the brain to release luteinizing hormone, LH, which triggers testicular latex cells to produce more testosterone. So being out in the sun for that vitamin D is definitely not a bad idea. And in a few studies, it's been noted that in both humans and animals, blood vitamin D levels are positively associated with sperm quality and motility. So here's what all the results of these vitamin D and testosterone studies tell us. So men with low vitamin D levels are more likely to have low testosterone when compared with men with adequate levels of the vitamin. Healthy men who decide to supplement with low dose vitamin D can expect to have about 25% more testosterone in their bloodstream after a year of supplementation. If your serum vitamin D levels are already in the optimal range, you might not get a testosterone boosting benefit from extra supplementation, but most people are deficient. UV light exposure seems to skyrocket testosterone production, especially if you expose your genitals to the sun rays. Good luck figuring out how to do that. So we can conclude that vitamin D is really a testosterone booster in and of itself. At least the science really seems to support this idea from multiple points of view. So what is the optimal dosage for optimizing your testosterone levels? So the optimal amount of vitamin D in blood serum seems to be somewhere between 50 to 70 nanograms per deciliter. This can be pretty easily achieved with supplementing daily with a low to normal dose of a high quality vitamin D supplement like we have with Umzu. Or you could spend a couple hours out in the sun every single day. One thing to note is that you should avoid the, vitamin, the D2 form of the vitamin because it's so cheaply made and it's, it's a chemical processed in a manufacturing facility that's not necessarily good in terms of bioavailability compared to vitamin D3. So if you're interested in learning more about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels, go over to MasterYourTea.com. You can actually read my book, Master Your Tea. This book, for free, uh, over at MasterYourTea.com as a download. Now, also, you'll get a $5 off coupon for Testro X, which is our natural testosterone support supplement from Umzu. And you get both of these over at MasterYourTea.com right now. So if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next video.